This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday morning, the 10th of December. James Spann here, and it's cold out there this morning. As cold air is back and rain to start the weekend, will we have any icing problems Saturday morning? That's one issue we'll talk about. Sky cam shots early this morning. First off, coming from Mount Chihaw. You can see some mid-level clouds overhead, but uh, the sky is generally fair and it's cold. Here's a look from uh, Gadsden up in Etowah County. And from Jasper, always nice to see the nativity scene that's set up down on the courthouse square down below. That's the view from the King Building. Cold-looking pattern for much of the United States, and uh, uh, the big snowstorm is winding down up north, but, boy, they have a big blanket of snow on the ground up there, which means the air that comes down from the northwest will not modify very much. Yeah, it's cold. Uh, I see some, uh, look, minus 17s on the air in western Nebraska. And, you know, this is only early December. This looks like something you'd see more in the middle of January. And uh, temperatures as cold as 10 down in the northwest, northwest Arkansas. Here's a look at our numbers at 5 o'clock. The colder values are uh, north of Interstate 20, as you might expect, with cold air advection. We've got mid-20s in Coleman and Haleyville. Birmingham sitting at 33, so... Uh, those mid-level clouds keeping temperatures up just a little bit. Watch warning map. Things are calming down. Most of the blizzard warnings and the winter storm warnings have uh, faded away, and that's good to see. There's the expected precipitation around the country for the next five days, valid through Monday evening at 6 o'clock. Heaviest rain down to the south, about two inches for places like Geneva. And up this way, one-half inch seems to be the number for our weekend event. Let's take a look. This is the 06 CGFS at noon today. Man, it looks cold. This is the look at 500 millibars. Again, a very uh, cold trough in place. Active southern jet stream down below that. Cold and dry today, mostly sunny. We will not get out of the 40s. And some of the uh, folks up in the Tennessee Valley perhaps will not get out of the 30s today with uh, sunshine through high clouds. Tomorrow, we stay dry. You can see the next impulse uh, down to the southwest, so clouds will be increasing. And there's a look at Saturday, and that looks like a cold and wet day. Not exactly a Chamber of Commerce day to uh, kick off the uh, weekend. Now, this is early Saturday morning at 6 o'clock off the GFS. Uh, and that's uh, somewhat problematic there in that you can see that the Critical thickness line, the uh, 132 line. Now, this is the low-level thickness, 1,000 to 850 millibars, is sitting up there over the Tennessee Valley. And by golly, this is going to be a close call. We're thinking that uh, with some evaporative cooling as this thing begins Saturday morning, many spots will be pretty close to freezing. So there could be a little narrow window for some freezing rain and bridge icing Saturday morning. Just keep that in mind if you're traveling somewhere. And uh, up in the Tennessee Valley, this might even suggest some snowflakes mixing in with that. Uh, I think for us, the cold air is very shallow. We're talking mainly just the threat of some freezing rain. Shouldn't last long. Just be a cold rain much of the day. But just be aware of that, that little window Saturday morning. Now, Sunday, the whole thing is winding down. There could be some lingering rain, but it looks like of the two days, the day with the most rain will be Saturday. We should be back in the 50s on Sunday. And then Monday looks dry, but as you know, this is a very active pattern, and we're not going to stay dry long. There's a look at Tuesday. Here comes the next short wave. And Tuesday looks wet for Alabama. Maybe even some thunder, but no severe weather. And then Wednesday, we go dry. Thursday of next week, dry. Hey, two dry days back-to-back. -back. And Friday the 18th, a week from tomorrow, look at the cold air advection. starts to turn cold again. All right, you want to see something fun? Look out uh, three more days, December 21st. Yow! Boy, that's cold for the east. Uh, big ridge pumped up over the western part of the continent, tapping the cold air. Uh, polar vortex in place over the Great Lakes. Energy rotating through. You see that yellow, don't you? Down below. Oh, boy. Um, that's a surface low that's uh, east of Daytona Beach. Now, that's a little far south for a big snowstorm here. But as we all know, first off, this is voodoo. This is not a specific forecast. This will change and go away. But something like this is certainly possible. 
And uh, that would suggest somebody could see a big-time snow across the southeast if it happens to be correct. Just looking. And then uh, the end of the forecast, Christmas night, late night on uh, December 25th. Very fast flow across the country, cold air in place, and another Gulf low down there. That's why we say uh, this is going to be a cold and unsettled month. And again, uh, that graph catches our attention. This is the Arctic Oscillation forecast, and you can see that thing is almost spiking off the chart for the latter half of December. And often when the AO is strongly negative like that, that suggests some very cold weather. Could this be a December to remember? We'll see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video uh, today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Each day, there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.